Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for your kind welcome. It's an absolute honour to be here. Um, this is my first time in Uzbekistan. I hope it won't be my last time. I was asked to come and give you a very short presentation on the capability of Aegis and the Aegis Group. Um, it's a big group. Uh, we cover many different disciplines. Um, but let me give you a little bit of background on who the company is first. Key figures for the group itself is a 1.25 billion turnover for 2019, just over 15,000 employees, primarily in engineering and secondary in operations. We've been in operations for just over 65 years. We have all have, also have a presence in over 100 countries where we've delivered over 150 major projects. Our share structure is quite different from a, a standard UK-based share structure in that 75% of the Aegis Group is owned by Casti Depost and also 25% is owned, further 25% is owned by staff. This, this has proven to be an invaluable process in that the staff are truly bought into the business and when a member of staff is truly bought into the business, you'll get a very different reaction when it comes to asking them to go the extra mile on a project they wouldn't necessarily normally do. When I mentioned at the start that we had quite a wide group, this is primarily what I was talking about. Obviously today I'm here to talk about aviation, but the core business of Aegis Group as always has been road and rail. We deliver projects all over the world. Urban development and mobility, buildings, Aegis Batimont, water, environment and transport, energy, major structures, and multi multimodal transport. We have carried out many projects where all these service lines within the group have, been, uh, have worked together as a team to deliver major projects all across the world. We have many slides to show you in terms of what projects we have delivered, but I've managed to cut that down today because I only have 10 minutes. Again, a slightly, a slightly more detailed approach to what we do at airports around our design programs, project development, systems engineering, systems de uh, definition, and program management. We also work very closely with governments and institutions as we develop new airports and new routes and the adjoining FIR countries, if they should they have any issues with new, for example, the new Istanbul airport. Uh, we did some work helping out the, the FIR in making sure that they were prepared and ready for the forthcoming traffic flows that were going to be uplifted during the opening, opening period. This is just a quick view of where we are active. Um, we hope to change this map soon to put Uzbekistan on there also and um, hope to become a long-term partner and this, as I say this is my first trip so we're very much looking forward to establishing relationships not only here but in the region also. <coughs> Products and skills. Previously isolated and distanced from cities Airport products and hyper-connected mega projects serving ever more numerous demanding passengers, flow management, safety requirements, concentration on technical equipment and the extension of exterior spaces make up the main challenges for airport projects. From feasibility studies through to project design, management phases, development of new services and facilities, each has planned its airport in its full entirety. Aegis also operates 17 airports spread across Europe, South America, Africa and Oceania, making up an annual traffic of more than 27 million passengers and 270,000 tonnes of cargo. Aegis's international expertise is a unique asset for achieving long-term success while working in varied and um, diff difficult political and cultural environments. Three core projects here are consultancy, project management and data. Another example of one of our ORAT delivery programs that we delivered last year. Training and knowledge transfer. Within the Aegis Group, consultants, engineers, project managers, project developers, infrastructure and operators all bring their knowledge and expertise to design and management at the airports to exploit those skills. Institutions, government authorities and airport management companies, Aegis, guide you through the institutional and organisational regulatory issues. We carry out feasibility studies in the creation of installers, development studies 
and the extension of overhaul projects, including master plans. By first carrying out analysis of your requirements, we take into account the environmental dimensions of your projects and can offer exposure to the impact studies. Aegis also carries out operational and technical studies. Prior to the construction of your development of an airport, we understand the audit and, or, and, and aeronautical we also deliver aeronautical pavements, runways, taxiways and parking stands, tar targeting buildings for Aegis Batimont. All of this has resources providing equipment, engineering and airport services for airport safety. Our teams consider the airport as a whole, beyond those activities, to specific air traffic control, airport transport services, road, rail, engineering, multimodal infrastructure, city side facilities, car parks, green spaces, taxi ranks, water and electricity. You can see here on this slide, this is our airport network that we currently underwent. Unfortunately, that slide, that slide is slightly wrong. It's now 17 airports on the basis of a, of a recent success that we had. Again, going through our aviation capabilities, we do have a global aviation knowledge. We do have good partnerships, and we are very keen to develop those partnerships. We have highly skilled teams deployed around the world. Again, just some examples now um, of some of our more recent successes. Um, Dubai was a very interesting project, developing 24 million. Uh, the UAE airspace restructuring project was delivered on time and on budget. The Middle East key projects, which are currently being developed further by our Middle East office. Saudi Airlines, I'm personally responsible for our airline network as well, which were very successful in London, with the likes of EasyJet, British Airways, Qantas and the Riyadh Airport Upgrade Project. Again, a very successful delivery. Amala, a recent project, also a great success. And Gakka. Again, I don't want to go through too many slides and waste our time doing that. Nansa, Airport Authority of India. Cebu Airport. And Davro Bakalan. Just on the airport and the airport side of life, one of our offices are based in Toulouse, where we're very close to the Toulouse um, headquarters for Airbus, where we have great relationships and working together um, on a regular basis on major new technical advancements that's going forward. I just want to say thank you very much. We really are keen to develop the relationship in Uzbekistan, and we hope going forward that we can develop that into a way where we can uh, share our knowledge with you and build on upon that relationship. Thank you very much.